All right, we've got an oven and it's been at 450 degrees for almost a half an hour, actually for a half an hour. And we're doing uh, PETE plastic because we've successfully done bottle caps and other HDPE and even carved signs out of them. And we've done LDPE, low density polyethylene uh, plastic bags. You can see the barcode on that one there. Uh, from an, I think those were carrots, but plastic bags from the supermarket. And we started working on carving the LDPE plastic bags shred. They don't carve so well, whereas the HDPE high density polyethylene things like you know bottle caps and such, they uh, work in this oven perfectly well. And um, but PET bottles and stuff doesn't work at all. Shredding it in the Nutribullet was difficult and didn't work. The melting doesn't work well at between 275 and 350. You just get this. So now I've put it on cookie sheet. Got a couple bottles in there. Let me put on my gloves. And I got it up at 450. The melting temperature is really 500. And this oven fortunately doesn't go up to 400. I mean to 500. And that's probably a good thing from the perspective of safety. But I'm putting on my... My... Uh, elders gloves and um, so yeah I had this on at 450 Fahrenheit and the parchment the cookie paper definitely uh, a little more might burst into flames or something but let's see what we got from this ow well that's hot okay that was very hot all right Whew. what was that hot wow um, yeah so that is what's left of a couple of uh, containers and that's not horrible but for making signs it ain't gonna wash because you can tell already it's gonna be really brittle whereas HTPE and LDPE maintain their flexibility I'm sure that polystyrene will probably end up brittle as well but this this works with the LDPE and this works with the HDPE and that's great for making signs we just have to make a press this this probably isn't worth worth much, and there's an awful lot of it. Um, professional recycling seems to be the thing to do with with PET, polyethylene terphthalate. We can't put it in the plastic to oil machine. We do put into the plastic to oil machine here. We put polystyrene. That works. We can put bottle caps, which are HDPE. We can put LDPE. And we can, uh, what else can we put in here? Polystyrene, LDPE, HTPE, and polypropylene. Those go into the pyrolyzer and we get a decent oil out of them. But you can't use PET because this machine gets up to 450 Celsius and breaks down, gasifies, pyrolyzes all of the other plastics, but not PET, which I guess for pyrolyzation is about 600, 650 Celsius, way too hot for this machine. And I'm talking Fahrenheit over with that oven. We were 450 Fahrenheit, which is about 200 something Celsius. This machine gets up to 450 Celsius and then it stops, which is like 890 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. That's what this machine that turns it plastic back into oil. This is the blessed plastic to oil machine from Japan. And so we use that for a kilogram a day of, as I said, number uh, six, polystyrene, number five, polypropylene, number two, high density polyethylene, number four, low density polyethylene, not number one, not polyethylene terphthalate or PETE, not that at all. The cap, yes, the bottle, no, because it requires too high a temperature and not for any circumstances, PVC number three because that stuff is toxic as hell with furans and dioxins when we're using the oven hdpe number two high density polyethylene yes as we showed using making that sign out of that ld ldpe or plastic bags yes as you see we made those there and uh, now we've tried using the pet at 450 because it's 275 to 300 for the others, the aforementioned LDPE and HDPE, but this, this is, you can just see, it's, you can't make a sign out of that, it just is brittle, I can feel it's going to crack in another 
second or two. It's just not, it just ain't a great material. Ooh, I just messed up my glove there. Ruined, ruined a bit of the glove. That's awful. Alright, well, but at least this shows maybe there's something to do with a much larger oven in terms of volume reduction so that we can get that mess down to a reasonable size. But probably the best thing to do is just get a shredder. Nutribullet did create those shreds, but it took a long time and it's hard. PET is so unwieldy to work with it. You can't crack it like polystyrene. I can give you an example of this. I'm going to take off my gloves here for a second. Um, take off this glove. So you can tell the difference between polystyrene because polystyrene I can I can crack. And if you can crack it, that's polystyrene. That is not P-E-T-E. -E. You can tear it like this too. This is not P-E-T-E. -E. This is polystyrene. As are your uh, your takeout forks and knives because it cracks so easy. You heard that crack, right? But this too is um, polystyrene because it cracks. But if you try to tear it, it's this one says P-E-T on it, so you know it's P-E-T. But if you didn't know, and you tried to tear it, like when you're trying to open up packaging and you get the thick scissors and just it don't tear, it don't crack easily, then you know that that is P-E-T-E. -E. And that's the, uh, that's the tough one. That's the one. And what I had melted here were things like this. This, I, I took two of these and a, and a bottle and turned them into this there. I don't think it's worth it, even though we're solar powered here. And uh, you can see solar panels up on the, up over there. Got solar panels there, got solar panels over there, got solar panels over there, producing about 120 kilowatts on a good day. So we can experiment with the energy for this electric. It just isn't really worth it. It's still hot. Well, we will try. I mean, maybe if it was even thicker, we would get something useful. Maybe. Maybe not. But that's today's report on our experiments to create signage out of recycled plastic. And we'll just keep at it until we get something good. And maybe you'll have some suggestions too. So long.